In lesson seven, we're focusing on the unit price and the constant of proportionality. And we've already pretty much learned about the constant of proportionality, but we haven't really defined it. So if we have a chart, for instance, um, and I'm going to use the number, the number of people. and the cost of, I can't, the cost of sodas. So say we're buying sodas for people at a party and each person is expected to drink one can of soda. So if we were to have one person there, the cost of a soda would be Let's say we're doing cans, so it's 75 cents. So the cost of one can is 75 cents. If you were to have two people, then you would need two cans, and the cost of the soda would be $1.50. And we can keep going with this chart. If you were to have three people, then you're going to have $2.25 be your cost and so on and so forth. So talking about unit rate, unit rate is the cost per item in this situation. Sometimes it's the just or this um, miles per hour, unit price, unit price is the cost per item. A unit rate happens when you divide the two numbers and one of them has to be one. So and the number of people, one person, that's a unit rate, it costs 75 cents for the canned sodas. So a unit rate would be 75 cents. Sometimes the constant of proportionality is the same as the unit rate. And all constant of proportionality means is that it fits this equation. This is a constant, which we've already worked on finding by dividing when we use our tables. So let me just draw a quick table. So we had been working on telling if, if tables and graphs are proportional or non-proportional. If they are proportional, then they have what we call a constant of proportionality, meaning a number that we can multiply by x to give us the value of y. So we've already really been doing this all along, and we're just now calling it what it really is. Okay, A variable like x and y just represent a value, and a constant is just a number. It's a positive number, generally, in these cases. When we're talking about real-world data, it's usually positive. But it could be negative, and we'll talk later about what that would look like, and what kind of values those would represent. Now, the homework problem is a little tricky. But really, they're just asking what makes more sense. If I'm inviting people to a picnic, does it make more sense to take the unit rate and multiply it by how many people there are going to be? And will that give me how much we're going to spend on pot? Or does it make more sense to take the cost of a 12-pack and divide it by how many people are coming to get the cost of the pot? So that's all they're really asking in that. So I think that once you once you think about it and you think about what the unit rate means and what the constant of proportionality means, you'll be able to much better answer that question.